Hi, I'm Mike D'Angelo, and today we're going to show you how to properly do a skin fold body comp test. You're going to need four things. One, a scale. Two, a skin fold caliper. Three, a measuring tape, preferably with a tensor control. And four, a pen. Let's get started. Let me show you how to do the circumference measurements. First thing is you want to make sure that you're always taking the measurements with the centimeter side of the measuring tape, not the inches. So you'll have it marked. You want to pull the tape over this way, come across, pull the tensor control, and that's where you're going to take the measurement. So now that you know how to do the circumference, now we need to take a few measurements to improve quality control so that every time you do these measurements, it's the same. So the first thing you want to do is measure from the acromium to the olecranon process and measure halfway down the back of the arm. And that's where the circumference is going to be. On the chest, you're going to measure from where this fold is in the armpit to the outside of the nipple and you're going to measure halfway and that's where you're going to take the skin fold on males and so and then the next is the thigh so face me and kick your leg up like this pull the pant leg up so you're going to measure from the inguinal canal to the tip of the patella and you measure halfway that's an eight so now you're going to do the circumferences and arms up. So you want to get down, drop the arms. You want to measure right above the nipple line, and that's 93.5. Next is the arm. So we'll come to the side. Arms up and drop it. Make sure the measuring tape is flat, and that's 32.2. Face me, arms up. With the waist, you're going to go where the narrower circumference is, centimeter side, make sure the measuring tape is square, 78.5. On the waist, I mean the hips, arms up, you're going to measure where the, where the butt sticks out the most, and that's 106. And then the thigh, so pull the pant leg up. You're going to measure right where you had marked. Equal pressure on both feet. And that's 62. And the calf, where the widest circumference is, and that's 36.3. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do the skin fold caliper. And so what you're going to want to do is spin them around. You're going to want to feel the bone underneath and the muscle. And you want to pull it with both hands. You want to grab it overhand with this hand. And the calipers are in this hand. And you come in. You place the caliper a centimeter or so away from where you're actually pinching and that's 16. Always keep your thumb on the caliper so that if the client pulls away you don't rip their skin. And that's how you do that. So now that you actually know how to use the caliper, now we're going to do the other sites for the male, which is 8. So we did the scapular already. The next is the tricep, right where you had marked it before. You're going to go in, you want to feel that muscle underneath, you want to pull the skin away. And that's a 16.9. Next is the bicep. You want to keep the client in the anatomical position, which is the hand turned out. You want to measure across from where the tricep is and go up one centimeter. Feel the bicep underneath. Grab it. And that's a five. Then the chest, you've measured already. You go in, you feel the flesh underneath. Pull the body fat away. And that's a 14.5. Next is the mid axillary. Put the arm up like this. Push it back. Palpate the xiphoid process. Come straight across to the midline. 
grab that and 13.8. Next is the suprailiac, which is above the iliac. So palpate the suprailiac. Pull that out. It's 23.8. Next is the abdomen. So we're going to go to the right of the umbilicus. Try to feel the muscle underneath. Pull the body fat. That's 25.2. Next is the thigh. Face me. Pant leg up. And put your weight on this leg. And you've already measured where that's going to go. And that's a 31.8. Okay, so now that you know how to do those measurements, you want to plug each one of those measurements into Body Evolver PT Pro. And if you ever forget, where those measurements are, you can reference it in the system by glancing the mouse over the little box and up will pop a picture and a written description of how to do each one. So it makes it real easy. When you're all done, just hit enter and Body Evolver will do all the math, calculate out everything for you, makes it real simple, graphs it on colored charts and graphs to educate the client. You're going to love it and it's going to make your life a whole lot easier.